Okay, today we're going to make a little fish makerspace project and we're going to use my new favorite gadget. We're going to use the BBC micro bit to do this and we're going to hook a servo motor up to it. So this is probably my favorite makerspace project um, just because it's so simple but I still think it looks really cool even though it's a really simple design. My other three videos we used <coughs> Makey Makeys. But for this one, we'll use the micro bit, and I really like the micro bit because there's so many different things you can hook up to it. So let's give it a try. So on the micro bit, there's these pins down at the bottom, and you can use those pins and connect different components to them, and then you can actually code those components and control them with the micro bit. So you can do a lot of really neat things with that. So what we're going to hook up is a little mini servo motor. So this is a SG90 micro servo. So let's hook it up to the micro bit. So what I've done here, on the servo there is an orange wire, a red wire, and a brown wire. And I just spliced these wires onto some alligator clips so that they're easy to connect to the pins on the micro bit. So you just got to make sure you pay attention to, because I didn't use the same colors, I just got to pay attention to what color is coming from the servo and then what the alligator clip color is. So this orange wire turns into white on the alligator clip. That's going to go on my zero pin on the micro bit. So I'm just going to stick that over just like that. The red wire is going to go on my 3 volt pin, which is over here, the 3V pin. And then the brown wire from the servo, which is my blue alligator clip, that's going to go over onto the ground, which is this GND pin. So just like that. And now my servo's all wired up, so now we can start coding it. And we hook the servo into pin zero, so we're going to code pin zero. So let's go into the coding. Okay, so to code the micro bit, we're going to go to makecode.com. That's where we are right now. And if we click on micro bit, then we can do all our coding right in here. And what I like about this is there's a simulator here, so we can test our code and see if it's working before we even have to download it onto the micro bit. And it's also good if you're a teacher because you could have multiple kids working with one micro bit and they could be testing their code here before they have their turn to use the micro bit and actually try it. So first we're going to go into basic and we're going to grab a forever loop. Then if we go to advanced, there's pins here so we can code the pins on the micro bit. Down here, there's this servo right pin zero. So we'll grab that, put it in the loop. So pin zero is the one we hooked the servo motor up to. If you click here, there's all these other pins you could also be coding to. So we're gonna just set pin zero, the servo that's hooked up to pin zero, we'll just set it at zero degrees. Then we are gonna wait, so we'll get this under basic we'll get the pause block and just wait for 500 microseconds so half a second then we're gonna move the servo so we'll go back to pins servo right pin zero and this time let's move it 100 to 120 degrees and then we'll put another wait block here before it goes back to the beginning of the loop and goes back to zero so basic, pause, and 500 microseconds. We watch what it's doing on the simulator. The servo is just going to move back and forth like that, and then we'll use that to move the tail and move the mouth of our fish. So then I'll just go here, click download, and then it's going to download a file for me. And I'm going to drag that hex file onto the micro bit to load it. Okay, I got the servo wired up and we wrote our code. So I'm going to 
plug the micro bit into my computer. I'm going to download the code and we'll see if we get this servo motor working. So there are um, battery packs for the micro bits, but I don't have any batteries, so I'm just drawing all my power off the computer. So I gotta leave the micro bit plugged into the computer. The code's downloading right now. And cross our fingers. Hope once it's downloading that it there it goes. So there goes our servo. So we could have coded one of the buttons on the micro bit to stop the servo, but I didn't do that. So I'm just gonna unplug it and kill the power. And this little piece just comes off of here and you can sit it back on. Um, what we're going to do is hot glue. We're going to use a skewer, but coffee stir sticks actually probably work better than this. But we're going to hot glue a skewer onto there, and then we'll put it back on the servo, and the servo will start moving this stick. Then we can start building our fish. So let's take a little bit of hot glue. Put the servo on, or put, sorry, put the skewer on. Pop that back on the servo. See if we have enough power to move this stick. So I'll plug the micro bit back, micro bit back in. And yeah, we're good. So we got a lot of motion there. So we can start building our fish, we're going to put the servo motor right into the fish. Okay, the body of our micro bit fish is going to be a toilet paper roll. So I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue on the servo to, at the bottom and stick it inside of the toilet paper roll. So I'll put a bit of hot glue on there. And just got to be careful that your wires are out of the way. So I'm just trying to glue this kind of in the middle, making sure I have some clearance for that skewer to be able to move. So we'll just hold that for a second. And this end of the skewer is probably okay. This one's a bit long. So I'm just going to cut some of that off, maybe right there, or maybe I'm just going to snap it instead. So that white piece just came off, which is fine, I can just put that back on. Alright, so I like to test, test, test when I'm building stuff. So I've got a servo in there, skewers on, so I'm going to plug the micro bit in again, run our code, see how this is moving. And plugging this in is proving difficult. There we go. So that's pretty good, we got a pretty good range of motion there. Oh, skewer popped off the servo. Popped off that little white thing, so I'm going to have to reattach that. And I reattached the skewer onto the servo. So now it's time to start accessorizing. So <clears throat> I'm actually going to use an old file folder, because they're pretty sturdy. And I'm going to make my tail and my mouth out of that. So I got my two tails. So let's just glue them onto the skewer. There's one. So now my fish has a tail. I'm going to put one on the other side as well, just so it looks a little better. Hot 
glue. All right, fish has a tail. So now we gotta build a jaw. So the upper jaw is just gonna be stationary. So I'm just gonna cut out a shape. <clears throat> kind of do a semicircle here, and then I'm just gonna play around with it and adjust it until I have something that actually fits on there and looks somewhat like a fish mouth. So let's see if I tried this. Um, it's not too bad. I might try slicing down the middle here, folding it in, doing kind of a comb thing so I can get kind of a three-dimensional look on there. So what if I did that? I think that would look all right. So I'll add some hot glue there. Okay, time to start working on the lower jaw. And the idea for this is that I'm going to use some brad clips or butterfly clips and attach them, use them to attach the lower jaw so that it can move. It can move with the skewer. So I got this. I'm going to do a little slice down the middle so I can create a cone shape. I'll tape the skewer onto there. I'll have to snap some of the skewer off because as you can see it's longer than it needs to be. These are brad clips or butterfly clips. I'm just pushing these, this one through. And I'll open it up inside. And it's going to hold the jaw on, but also give it a point that it can pivot around. So it looks like that. And see the jaw can still move. Now I should have planned a little better and had these wires coming out the other end maybe. Okay. going to attach the other side now. Add clip in. Fold down the ends of the brad clip. Okay, the mouth can move. Let's see, it chomps. Okay, I gotta put my skewer back onto the servo here and figure out how much of the skewer I gotta break off. And then I'm just gonna hot glue that lower jaw to the skewer so it can control. Okay, so I'm gonna break it here. And we're just going to put a dab of hot glue there. Maybe more than a dab, I think it you might want to put a, quite a bit. And we're just going to hot glue this jaw right to the skewer. So an improvement I can make is cut a little hole in the bottom and these wires run them through that hole so they're not coming out of the mouth because it looks kind of silly with the holes or with the wires coming out of the mouth. So let's plug this in and see what happens. So that's pretty good. So the mouth opens and closes, tail moves. So now just be up 
oh, just be about accessorizing. So you might want to add a little tail fin here, do some eyes on top, whatever you think would make your micro bit fish look better. So for my finished one that I showed earlier, I used some puff ball eyes and added the tail fin. He looks pretty good. So when you're done accessorizing, you could have something that looks like this. I threw a googly eye on here and put a back fin on and I just pulled the wires out from the mouth and ran them out this end instead. So when I plug them in, there you go. Neat little project.